Welcome back. We're the Bourbon Junkies. And today, uh, I'm going gonna, gonna to headshot a theme today. Today, oh. I'll headshot a theme. It's okay. You, might want, you want a pen? For what? Write some ideas down because no. it's not going to happen. Oh, I'm 100%. So, uh, as you'll see here in a second, Brandon uh, poured us a blind. We have no idea if it's a theme, how good or bad we're going to do. Last good, time, one of luck. us did pretty well. The other of us... Oh, it wasn't me. Did less well. You also put my pick number one. Ah, roll the credits. All right, guys, how are you all doing today? Um, you guys all sick of Dan and Sean only reviewing unicorns? Uh, they can't get your hands on. You'll never be able to try. Well, today is for you. Uh, the blind I'm pouring for them today is going to be whiskeys that you can literally find at about every gas station imaginable. Um, they don't have Jim Beam white label out of a thousand bottles, surprisingly. So I went with Jack Daniels, old number seven, just regular old granddad, wild turkey and not 101, just the uh, 81 proofer and Evan Williams black label. Um, I would have subbed in Jim Beam white label uh, for old granddad, but they didn't have Jim Beam white label. So this is what they're getting today. Hope you guys enjoy. All right. So, uh, a We'll go A to D, D to A, and then try to guess things oh. and probably be way wrong. A smells fantastic. Um, my yes, guess does. is that they're all wild turkey products. Done. Unveil. <laughs> Just because of Brandon, huh? If I get this right off the nose of A, You're then wrong. I'm the greatest of all Why don't you time? smell B and then tell me? Okay, good point. Wait till you even get the C. Okay, I, I don't know, I haven't changed my mind, but I haven't kept it the same either. I'd like to retract my theme. Guess. I bet you should. I don't know. I don't know what any of those are. I have not a clue what any Whiskey. of them are. All right. Well, why don't, why don't you drink them? All right. A. So we're going to go A to D like Sean explained. We're eventually going to guess the theme and we'll order these before we guess the theme or after. Which this one? is really sweet. This actually this great. felt, I wouldn't say Buffalo Trace, but it definitely has that like uh, red apple sweetness on it on the nose. I got a lot of cherry. Definitely there too. Yeah. Like I think that's why I thought. I oh, said turkey. Oh, okay. Just a lot of red cherry. Could be No bucks. cinnamon or anything, but. MGP, maybe? It's a li That's really good whiskey. Whatever that is, it's like super crushable, fantastic. It's just great. It's really good. Low proof. Yeah, but just good. Oh, you could sit down and drink half a bottle. That's yeah, really good. 100%. Drink about at least a half a bottle and still feel okay. It's super oily. It's and not it's a problem. not ultra complex. It's so weird that the proof's low. Look how oily. Look oh, at your I already glass. know what this is. Oh, you got to guess. Oh, I already know what this is. Don't worry. This is technically us versus Brandon. We oh. were teammates last time. Oh, you want to be a we teammate? We were teammates last time. I forgot. Now um, you shit the bet. Yeah. And you're only as strong as your weakest link. Uh, I mean, we can still rank them differently, but. We um, did last time. This smells great. Do you remind I me like of this. Blade and Bow. Oh. Does Blade and Bow have any youthy note on it? A little bit. This doesn't. Mm, you could be right on that one. But it feels like a nice 90 proof crusher. Yeah, it's great. There's not a lot going on in it, but it's really good, whatever it is. Blade and Bow often reminds me of like an MGP Buffalo Trace hybrid. Yeah. Could be like a low proof Bowman also. I'm, this one smells like peach schnapps. Damn. Um, Remus is where my head went on this oh. one. Like real fast. Mm -mm. I get a little bit of yeah, a, just drink a waxy woodiness up top. Wait oh. till it goes in your mouth. So that's Jim Beam. <laughs> Wait until it goes inside of you, because after it does. Yep, that's sour. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I wouldn't go as far as to say sour, but it is definitely, it's Beam-esque or Yellowstone-esque, somewhere in that Lux-esque maybe. Uh, Russell's 10. No way you think so, the white label? We've always called that nutty. That's true. This and it's 90 proof, but. I will tell you, me and Brandon were looking for one earlier and couldn't find it, so it's probably not that. <laughs> um, supposedly Russell's 10 years are really good. We just didn't like ours for whatever reason. This could be like a Lux too. Like I, I get all the, like, the sweetness up front and then in the palate is where I get the nuttiness and I usually get that with like a lot of Lux. Oh, stuff. you're on B. I just got so confused. Ew. C's super bready. So Dan went to C, didn't look at me, the camera, anyone, and then was like, C! Just went. Yeah. A full sense. We're a team. I forget. We're a unit. We are not often. <laughs> we are a unit. <laughs> Tell me that that doesn't smell um, bready. 
A little bit. Um, Naughty. Young MGP, maybe. I get a little uh, weird, dusty, like dank carpet note out of it. Hmm. That makes me feel like it's a young whiskey. Theme is all low proof. That's yeah. the theme. C is low proof too. That's these, definitely a theme. This could be like just 90 proof crushers, like 90 proof bottles that we said we've liked in the past. Oh. I mean, it could be anything. I think I like it more than B. See, this could be like a pipe dream for me. Oh, wait. Okay, so just because we've spent a little bit of time, we did okay. our little nose acclimation, we went backwards, we were... Wait till you smell D now, mm -hmm. because D is so clearly Jack Daniels that it's not even funny. You think it's just regular Jack? I don't black? know. Could be Gentleman. Don't we have a Gentleman? Could be Gentleman. This smells um, like a banana cream. Like the, the 10 year is really low proof, or the, mm -hmm. like that's 94, 92, something like that. That is really low. We don't have a black label, so or the, we don't have a single barrel black label. I can see that being Jack. This has to be, this is like a 90 proof theme. 94 proof? Oh, maybe that's what it is. We have to think of four bottles that is 94 proof? I think that's Beam. I think that's Jack. You, hmm. That is uh, probably the nuttiest of the four. The, but it's banana-y too. It, it has, is very that's sweet. It's got that, that sweet uh, note in it, but it is very nutty. That's Gentleman Jack. You think so? I don't remember what it being. is that dude what is there's a living creature in here that little fruit fly right there literally I think you got now. it oh, but got now it. you got to do this or else it doesn't die because it lives in the crack oh oh, oh, oh I, it's flying away no it's not what's it's that right there look at this i killed something can you see the fly right there oh we got more oh that pumpkin i carved you left it in here didn't you just started robbing yeah it's outside now that's what pumpkins do <laughs> faster than i expected are you on D still? Mm hmm It is very sweet. That has to be Gentleman Jack. What else could that be? Black Label Jack? Like old number seven? What if that's Jim White Label, Jack Black, old number seven? What are these two then? I don't know. This is either, this is like a bottom shelf theme or it's low proof. But they did Low this. proof for sure, but I mean, that comes with bottom I know, that's the, Everything I think low. that's where I'm getting confused. All right, we're gonna take a quick second, have some more topo. I'm uh, super and close. And then try to fuck, <clears throat> figure this out. Try to what? <laughs> Two hours later. This, okay. And we're back, sorry. Here's the, Sean and I were discussing in the, in the, in the. Go ahead. Whatever the f it just happened. <laughs> this might be 1792 Ball and Bond. It could be. I still think you were right on the Jack. Guess. The problem is it's the problem is it's it's something that's hyper sweet with banana specifically, but nutty too. An old Forester is banana, but never nutty. Can I tell you? I don't oh. think it's a hundred proof because it t drinks like water. Yeah, literally like water. Could be gentleman, but I thought gentleman was sweeter. But it's been so long since we had it. <sighs> if that was sweeter, it'd be sickly. I almost think on D. Man, that I like this, this one a lot. Really good. This one, the more I get into her. I don't or think I, I gave like enough her. SJ before. Gotta, gotta really get in there. Give, you it, don't, give it the, the business. If you don't warm them up with an SJ, then what are you even doing? Because the the little bit of that like musty wet carpet note that I got before mm -hmm. is not really there in the nose. I'm gonna say something and I'm not gonna stand by it. Even if I'm right. Like where head's at. Tastes like a burr eye. I said, didn't say pipe dream on this one? <sighs> Lost Monarch's a burr eye. That's what I meant to say. Okay. So earlier, like five minutes ago in this video, when I said pipe dream, mm -hmm. I meant, meant to say Lost Modern. Lost Modern. Okay, because the back end of this one's spicy. This is the only one with spice on the back. That's the only one that drinks like it's a higher proof than the rest. Man, that's sweet. That's like candy right now. I know, but it's spice at the end. Warm, tingly dancing feelings. I can see it. All right, I'm gonna go to B. Okay, trying. Oh, B smells amazing now. Why does B smell so good now? So does, no, a, our B's got this like a little, a, um, like for sure, youthiness on it. It's waxy and nutty again. Mm hmm. That's like a low proof Knob Creek. Like, that's what makes me think it's beam. It just tastes like Knob Creek, but the baby version. Which, okay, so it's Basil Hayden. Which one? Oh, what if these are all Basils and I liked one of them? <laughs> Definitely not the case, buddy. But <laughs> that's just laughing. That could be like a Basil Hayden or something. Okay. It's low proof. It's got a little twang I'm, on it. I'm gonna be honest. If these are basil hands, I like three of them. All right. I'm gonna go to A. <laughs> I just, I'll say it right now. 
Oh. A by far smells the best. A's got that like really sweet strawberry. It's it's full bodied on the, the nose out of a 90 proofer. A is so good. That could be like a 1792 small batch for me. A good one though. Yeah. Not yours. We've got two up there. It's 50-50. <laughs> well, that was in the last one. I'm gonna rule that out. Barton was the last oh, theme. Gets again. That's fair. Barton was the last theme. Dude, that's really good. Mm -hmm. A is really good. It is. Um, a that has flavor. There's still no linger. It's low proof. I gotta order these. No, the problem, the thing is, is the A and C have the best finishes. It's not even close. Because they actually have flavor, some flavor. Yeah. D has literally the, the finish of a water. B has nutty, waxy finishing. Yep. I don't think I know the theme anymore. Which means in theory, I never knew the theme. Realistically for me, there's a first. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then it's kind of eh. Oh, not at all for me. Oh, really? No, I haven't. I, mine's the opposite. I have a la hard last. <laughs> hard and fast last. Um, I have no idea what the theme is going to be. They're all low proof. I know that. Yes. I don't know. I don't think Brandon would make that theme. I think they might be like entry proof. like <sighs> Starter or like, bottles? Yeah. That's my only guess. Like starter collector collection, like uh, intro to whiskey bottles. So like Buffalo Trace, uh, Jim Beam something. Um, or like, is there a low proof Nom Creek at all? Nom Creek bourbon? Like is Nom Creek. There has, is that 90 or 90 ish? Yeah, so. Maybe Nom Creek. Um, Beam of some Heaven sort. Hill, small oh, it could be Heaven Hill. And then Jack Daniels. And then Jack. I don't know. That's Maybe. as good as I, what's your order? Uh, B's dead last. Really? Not even close either. Oh, we're like eons. It's last everybody else. I think as an overall experience. So I think D is my last place. D is my third. B is my third. Okay, so we just switched. But I didn't D. hate it as much to just be like oh, D yeah. is so far I, last. D's, D's great. D's really good. It's just no finish at all. It's eighty proof. I know. Okay. It like that's a crusher. Yeah. I, I honestly could just drink it. I told Dan I think there's only first place. So what's, what's your, your second? Uh, C. Same. Yeah. A is first for a is me. My first. So it was only A was. First, the rest of it didn't matter. Ready? Ready to figure it out? Let's finalize the theme. So I think, I don't know. I think they're like entry bottles. Entry level whiskeys? Yeah. Of like different distilleries. Oh, so close. Damn it, I was so close. So it is Beam. It is Beam. It is Heaven Hill. Yep. It is Turkey. Turkey. And then... Uh, I, Jack if I don't win seven, Advent, Matt Madness, the next seven years of poor guesses, I'll be blown the fuck away. Sean's last, my third. Yeah. My last, Sean's third. Both of our second places. Both of our first places. There you go. Not even close, too. First to second is not even close to me. I'm with you, 100%. Um, Man, that's crazy. When you were just outside, I said, Beam, Heaven Hill, Jack. Fucking nailed it. So old Granger shouldn't be in there. You just don't own a Jim Beam White Label. <sighs> That's what we thought it Thank was. Thank God. We do yeah, own Old Tub. You, you could have Old Tub's disgusting. Yeah, I said that on my, the video. I'm like, this should be Jim Beam. Yeah. I don't know that Jim Beam would have. Jim Beam still would have came in last. Would you have guessed this as turkey? I did off the nose. Yeah, oh, he, oh, he, oh, you did. He smelled it. He was like, oh, these are all wild turkey. I yeah. smelled it off the nose. I then I smelled B and I said, you should definitely yes, reconsider. Then I did reconsider. Yeah. After, but dude, you're a bloodhound for Jack. I don't know why. I don't either. You always get Jack products yeah, right. Yeah, I got a lot of those right, Off weirdly. That was surprising. All right, so there you go. That's our uh, our list. And what even bad this time? I'm great at this. So These games, I'm good at. We'll, we'll play we'll, these forever. We'll keep Brandon in the mix and keep doing these because yeah. it's fun. Yeah, because especially when somebody put the Cali 16 last. Or... All right, uh, see you next week. <laughs> Damn. That score, that couldn't have looked any better.